Hey guys, welcome back. I hope everybody had a good Halloween. Samhain. Hope everyone stayed safe. It was kind of a dead. It was kind of go a dead ghost town around here because of the virus. And I have so much candy left over. But this is just gonna be a quick little mini read today for the full moon Halloween. And I'm sorry I didn't upload this earlier because I've just been like so tired today, like drained. And then some family was in town, so I had to go out to eat. And then I've just been so sleepy. But now I'm awake and let's see what time it is. So in about like 30 minutes, it's going to be 2 a.m. And tonight is the daylight savings time, so we're going to go back an hour. Um, what else is new? So I know I keep saying this like every month and I don't want to like repeat myself. So I feel like I have to say it because it's important, but those water signs are still having a hard time right now. And I, I'm sending out love and light energy and healing energy for those water signs going through a hard time right now. And you know, a lot of people are going through a hard time, but they're this extra emotional going through that right now and I want to like focus on like other signs too so I really hope that they can feel better next month but I'm not just I'm not sure just yet but okay so I just had to make that quick little announcement so this is pile number one pile number two is here and then pile number three is I did I gave myself a reading earlier today but I definitely gonna pick a pile for myself today too and I'm going to pick pile number three. So anybody else who book picks pile number three, let me know. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Um, thank you for the new subscribers. And if you like to donate to the channel, you can always make a donation and tip and you'll always get a shout out. So let's start the reading. Put these over here for now. So I'm just drawing power and energy from the moon tonight since it's a Taurus full moon, blue moon. So I feel like this new chapter is going to be starting for Taurus people, which including myself, I'm a Taurus. So let's see what we got here. <clears throat> so I'll show you a close up too. So the first card is your commitment is being tested. So this is about, you know, stress as well. And, you know, you're kind of being tested right now and it's hard. It's a little bit of a struggle, but you're going to get through it. And the second card, full moon in Aries, a fiery climax approaches. So... This is going to be like the end of the situation. You're getting ready for like that build up and then it's coming to an end really soon. Well, actually, it could be even today. Something could have happened to the, today that could have exploded. And then tomorrow is, is your brand new life chapter. And we got two sign cards today. One is an Aries. So you could be an Aries or dealing with somebody that's an Aries. And then the next card over here is the new moon in Aquarius. So you could be an Aquarius or dealing with somebody that's an Aquarius. And it says bring love into the situation. So for you singles out there, this could be, you could be meeting somebody soon. You could have already met them. Or I just feel lots of love and romance, connection of relationships. So be on the lookout for those two signs of Aquarius and Aries but for those of you who are already in relationships I feel like just hanging there it could be a little stressful and testy right now people could be on edge but it's it's saying bring love into your situation your relationship your routine so maybe go out for like some date nights some romantic dinners and bring like that love back you know do something special for each other give each other flowers or something 
So you can definitely do lots of little romantic ideas that will make the other person feel really special. And then we're just going to pull some words from the word bag as well. See what comes up. So the first word is, oh wow, okay, cool. Chocolate. So you could definitely give the other person some chocolate and that will definitely put them in a good mood because everybody loves chocolate. I feel bad for those people that are allergic. And then some worship. So just basically like appreciation and compliments to make that other person feel good, you know? And then beauty as well. So making the other person feel beautiful, like inside and out. So maybe you give them like a gift card, gift certificate to like a beauty salon or like a spa day, a hair salon, like a cho chocolate or a flower shop, like any of the above. So definitely let me know what you choose and it's going to be special and really meaningful and they're really going to appreciate it. So definitely it's looking up in November for you guys. So moving on to group number two. All right, group number twos. So you got the Aquarius card too. That's interesting. First card, don't hold, let your past hold you back. And then the second card here is the Aquarius card. Like I said, show the world the real you. So I feel like somebody from the past is going to be coming back into your life. So you could be an Aquarius or the other person could be Aquarius. And you, you are trying to like move forward in life. So I'm not really sure if you're going to like take them back. It's kind of like your own free will decision. Because this card is indicating be bold and make the first move. So maybe you do really want them back and give them a second chance. I really do feel like some of you out there that... You don't necessarily have to be an Aquarius. You can just have, like, a personality trait of an Aquarius. And being, like, real and genuine. And let's see what else. But it's saying, again, just be bold and make that first move. So reaching out to them. And, you know, those second chances. Don't be, like scared and back down because just show you like your confidence and they they like that about you and it's you know the way that this recognition recognition um reconciliation is going to happen so that's like your little message of the day and we're going to pull some words from the word bag for you Because the first card is saying, for some of you out there, this is a general reading, that you don't want the person anymore because it's like, don't let your past hold you back. So you're, you're like, I don't need you in my life. I'm getting like two different messages here. But if you have to just be real and like honest with the person, if you don't want them in your life, you have to tell them. You have to say, speak the truth. And don't delay and procrastinate it. If you are having feelings of, oh, I don't know if I want to be in this relationship right now, but I don't know how to break up with them because I don't know how to be single or any reason, any excuse in your mind, like you just have to do it. Be bold, take chances, take risks. So it's up to you if you're, if you're deciding on a breakup or if you're deciding that you're interested in the person, wanting them back. It's definitely up to you. And it's okay to take chances. That's your message of the day. The first word that comes up is light. So you definitely have a lot of light energy around you. And for some of you, you could be light workers and have psychic spiritual gifts. Let's see the next word. Reveal. So you definitely have to reveal 
something to them that's really important. It's like a life-changing thing. It's your life. You're in control of it. Don't let anybody else have power over you. And then group one's got this too, is worship. So maybe for some of you, you choose group one and two. So there could be messages in there for both of you guys. Let me know. So that's your little message of the day. And then we're going to move on to group number three. I chose group number three, so let's hear my little message too. Oh, this is good. Okay, I like this one. So the first card that comes up is have faith in your dreams. And so a lot of you are dreamers and daydream a lot or and just have, you know, these big vivid dreams. And you have to have like, it's good to have a dream journal and write down your dreams because dreams can hold messages and premonitions and predictions that can come true. So definitely write down like any details you can. And just have faith and believe in them as well. And believe in yourself because you, you're definitely special and have gifts as well. Um, this next card is what do you need to release? So there's something in your life. It could be a person that you just need to step away from and release them, release their energy because it's no longer serving you. It's no longer good for you. It could be toxic and unhealthy. So once you do that, and I, they could be in your dreams as well, and your dreams could be telling you that's what you need to do. So that's why you need to pay attention and listen to your dreams because your dreams know, and they're trying to give you a push here. You need to release that person from your life, and I know it's really hard, but it's going to overall be better for you, and don't let anybody treat you badly or be mean to you you just want to attract positivity in your life and happiness and the last card that comes up is full moon and capricorn so you could be a capricorn or dealing with a capricorn but the end of a tough cycle approaches group number one got a similar card to this as well um so that's an earth sign it's definitely grounded in some stubbornness in there so you could be going through a tough time right now, but it's saying that the end of this tough cycle approaches. So it is approaching and it's in the last card spot. So I see it ending sometime in November. And then you just, you're so like strong and determined to forge through this. And, and you're going to release that old, negative energy and it's going to be like pressing like the refresh restart button and you're no, no longer going to feel those past feelings anymore having that faith and belief in yourself the self-assurance to get you there and it's going to come easier like after november things are going to get easier for you so let's pull some words from the word bag First word is water, okay? So, <clears throat> water means a lot of different things. You could be dealing with a water sign. I mentioned water signs at the beginning of this video. Um, your favorite color could be blue. Blue also represents the, the throat chakra, which represents communication. So you could be talking to somebody you haven't talked to in a while and you might need to drink more water because you might be dehydrated or you also might need to like live near water too. Any type of body of water, rivers, lakes, oceans. So that's really calming for you with the relaxation. You could be taking more showers and baths. Water represents so many different things. The next word is diamond so the diamond of the gemstone the gemstone diamond represents the zodiac sign actually it represents the whole month of april so for some of you you could be 
born in April. April babies out there. I'm an April baby. Let's see another word. The next word is shine. So also this obviously represents like a rock stone. So some of you could be getting engaged or married, proposed to. And it's a shiny diamond and it could be a blue stone. If that's your dream is to get married, I definitely see that happening. Some of you, you could be having sleep issues and problems, be getting more sleep, a lack of sleep. You need better sleep. You need, I have, I definitely have insomnia and need, and need to find something that will help my sleep because I have a really hard time falling asleep. Let's see what else. I think that is it. So let me know if this resonates with you. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Thank you everybody for watching. Love and light to everybody.